Hello, I am Molly Douglas and this is Lit From Within and I just want to say thank you so much for downloading this ebook and I just want to give you a rundown of how to use this ebook, how you're going to get the best benefits out of it, um, why you'll want to use it, and if you stick with me to the very end, I'll give you also another um, rabbit some freebies. So, but let me just tell you a little bit about myself and what Lit Within is all about so that you know why you want this ebook and why you downloaded it. Um, Lit From Within is something that I think we all are and that maybe we have to uh, just reconnect to, that we've forgotten that all of this is within. It's not something outside of ourselves that we are continuously trying to find or feel enough of. Um, you know, I've been doing therapy for uh, over a decade now, working with individuals in a holistic way. I'm an art therapist. I am a licensed mental health counselor. I am a, tri a trained trauma-sensitive yoga instructor. Um, and I am uh, an empathic healer. So I just kind of combine all those things together. But what I realized is that all these divine gifts and talents are, are within and we just have to quiet the noise and see through a heart lens in order to get to that space. Um, and it's taking me time working on myself and healing my own wounds and then using those techniques to also help others um, with what's going on in their world to heal their wounds, realizing that when we do that, we light each other up. We can be our best brightest and boldest versions of ourselves. And as we do that, we just send this ripple out to others to step into their divine self, into their empowered self, um, the best, brightest, luminous versions of themselves, which is when we are whole, when we feel completely connected to who we are, body, mind, and spirit. So I wanted to share with you today some of my simple tools that I use on a daily basis to connect to that part of self. So I'm not constantly running and running and running in my head to where um, I need a vacation. I know I've been there. I've done that a lot in the past and I still have to practice on a daily basis in order to find that place within and to see through that different lens, which I call the heart lens, which is different than the head lens. And the head lens is our ego and our fears and our chatter. So five ways to make your life shine, make your light shine and your life shine. With that, you know, the universe sends the right messages. Um, be in the now. So the first is getting rid of all the distractions putting the phone away. If you can get outdoors, great. Um, I live in the Midwest, and right now we have a ton of snow, so outdoors is beautiful, but you have to kind of watch how long you're out there for, and it may not be um, great for everyone. But find a place where you can just be, where you can just be and you can connect to your senses. Your senses are what will bring you into the present moment and will help kind of gather and collect yourself back all to center from where you've been today, where you've been giving your energy out. Um, but I like to do this through sense of touch, through sense of sight, of noticing what's around you, noticing the textures around you, what you hear, what you see, So really giving yourself that time to be in the now. And then when you're in that place, you're invited to ground in your roots. So the reason why we ground in our roots is because we are up here all the time. We are stuck in the head. So if you can send down your roots, then you're able to connect to light and energy from Mother Nature, from all the resources. of, um, And you're connecting visually, right? If you can imagine it in your mind, then it makes it real. Um, we have that, the same neurons fire together. So as you're sending down your roots, you're going deep within in order to connect and to ground and to root. And when we do that, we can begin to hear below the noise. So number three, hear below the noise. And hear below the noise is really just dropping down 
taking that 16 inch journey, right, from the head lens to the heart lens, where our egos, our, our fears, our self doubts, that inner critic, the chatter, um, however you see that and hear that, but going below that. It can feel above, but it's, it's at that heart centered lens because it's at the place of compassion, of self love, of, of awareness. Um, where we step away from the emotions and we're just more from a place of curiosity, from a place of observation. Um, but it's the heart-centered lens and it's from this empowerment place because it is. And it's one of our divine feminine um, empowerment centers that we can begin to connect to our intuition. We can shift into that higher knowing of self and um, our light team and our angels and guides and those that are around to help support us um, in that spiritual sense and be able to connect to our creativity and our intuition and our wisdom and um, begin to just see through that lens and not just see but hear and feel. So seeing through that heart lens is Need to shifting that perspective of how you see the world and how you see others. And it's from this place where the magic happens. When you've got that connection going and you've thought you've gotten that place, you can set intention, you can connect creatively with your guides, um, with your light team, with your higher self. You can use any kind of tools to help open up that communication. Um, or you can just quiet the noise and ask for that inner guidance. We are our own oracle. We are our own resources. Everything that we seek outside of ourselves is within. We just have to quiet the noise and bring it in in order to hear it and see it and feel it. And finally, give gratitude. Gratitude is huge, huge. Um, it just tells the universe you're listening. And there's so many ways you can do that. You can do that through um, just saying thank you after you've received the insight and the guidance. Um, you can do it when you see symbols and messages throughout the day because if you, you will continue to do that, the more you open up these light tools and the more you open up these empowerment centers in the body, um, and the mind and the spirit that you are going to continue to connect to those higher parts of yourself and you're going to receive messages all the time through nature, through numbers, through people, through everything. And, and just say thank you because the more you say thank you, the more you receive that abundance. Um, so yeah, those are my five ways to make your light shine and there are so many more than that and this is such an expanded version um this is the condensed version but there's so much more um, of an expanded version of this that i would love to share with you through my classes so there's an opportunity to check those out and i will give you the website and i also want to leave you with a juicy meditation to help get you a little more rooted and a little more grounded um, so that you have some, some guidance as you go through this if um, the ebook feels like it's leaving you wanting more. So thank you so much again for purchasing this and if you're interested in learning more and learning more how to be lit from within and live your life living aware, awake, and aligned, then I, I look forward to the opportunity to continue to work with you. Thank you so much. Namaste.